Curfew has been declared. 7 p.m. in the evening to 5 in the morning. Many had hoped that the president would have declared a complete lockdown. And this is because we are where we are. Because we failed to take measures that we should have taken. And we took other measures long after we should have taken those measures. If we had prevented entry into the country or been, been a little more strict in our screening and not allowing certain planes from certain countries, we should not have gotten where we are today. Now we are here. We have declared curfew. We are here. We must fight to ensure that we remain in what experts in disasters called stage two. Where you try to block it, you didn't. It is with you. You must stop the spread. And that is how this curfew must be understood. But because we are unlikely to avoid stage three, which is a much more, a much more serious stage with many more uh, cases being discovered, 100, 200, because we are unlikely to avoid that, then this curfew became necessary. I urge Kenyans not to take this curfew thing badly. Look at it as something meant to help us. The doctors are doing their best. Let us do our best. Simple, like washing our hands, avoiding crowded places. And to my fellow senior citizens, we are the most vulnerable. Let's stay home. I'm doing this a few meters from my house. So I advise my fellow citizens and others with pre-existing conditions to know we are most vulnerable. Let us stay away from crowds. But as we do that, we urge the president. I urge the president. Many of the things the president has done, I had mentioned them earlier. He has been doing them long after I've urged him. I'm urging the president to, to seriously consider a lockdown, complete lockdown. South Africa has done it. Imagine India with 1.3 billion, not 1.3 million, 1.3 billion people are 21 lockdown, days lockdown, no getting out of the house. It happened in Wuhan. China is recording zero cases. Let us not be lukewarm, Mr. President, in what we do. Let us be serious. Let's have a lockdown. And finally, finally, in order that this curfew, and in order that the lockdown that I'm sure you will declare, Mr. President, makes sense, bring in the military. We are in a war situation. We, this is a war situation. And only the military, the military has the training, the discipline, the seriousness to handle a war situation. Even if you declare curfew or lockdown, unless you bring in the army, don't listen to experts who are saying we can only bring in the army when we are at stage four, where Italy is. Why do we want to get there? Let, we, we cannot manage at stage four. No. Kenyans cannot manage phase four of a disaster. We don't have what it takes. It will finish us. Mr. President, bring in the military. They have the training. They have the discipline. They have the logistics. They will enforce whatever policies the experts come with. They will ensure they will move with speed. If you want to know what I'm saying is, is true, look at the confusion that was at the airport. In the three days, we were taking people into forceful quarantine. Look at the confusion. Look at the risk we put even young people at by crowding them in places, moving with them. It is only the army that has the discipline, the logistical ability to be able to handle situations like this. While that was happening, Mr. President, you must also know your leaders are bringing in their children and their dependents. And I suspect they were beating this quarantine thing. Our leaders, please. This is not the time to be stupid. All leaders must know. We shall allow them to be stupid, but at a later date. Not now. This is a serious thing. So, Mr. President, please bring in the military. 
They have the discipline. They have the training to handle and deal with a war situation, such as this situation. This situation cannot be dealt with by ordinary policemen and ordinary people. We will need the military. Bring them in. Don't listen to experts who are wait, telling you, wait for stage four. No, stage four is for Europe and America, not us. Us, we shall need the military now to be able to handle this situation.